Hi guys, oh, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lynn and I'm so happy to have you here today. So, for today's video, we are diving into the haunted Elsa doll. That's correct, a haunted Elsa doll. When I think of haunted dolls, I usually think of the old Victorian kind of porcelain dolls and not these new kind of dolls. I would never think that these new toys could be possessed and that is why the story is so interesting to me because, I mean guys, it's an innocent Elsa doll from Disney. You would never think that it's possessed, but we were wrong. So, a while ago, Matt and Emily Madonia shared the story of the haunted talking Elsa doll from the Disney movie Frozen that was gifted to their one-year-old daughter in 2013. The daughter was obviously so happy and loved this doll dearly. However, when the doll started talking even while switched off and her language suddenly changed from English to Spanish, they obviously thought the doll was broken so they threw it away. However though, the family was shocked when Elsa reappeared on a bench in their living room even though they know they bagged her and put her at the bottom of the trash can on trash day. That is so weird you guys, that gives me total Annabelle vibes like, I want a doll, Annabelle, so weird. <laughs> The weirdness then carried on as Elsa continued to sing in English, let it go, and only speaking in Spanish when pressed. At this point, the family was convinced that the doll is possessed, and I can just imagine how freaked out they were. So they double banged the doll and put it out on trash day, and it was taken away. Thinking they were finally rid of the spooky doll, the family went on a trip shortly after. But when they returned, you guys... Elsa was back and she was waiting for them in their backyard. So now Emily states that their Elsa doll has marks on her from the daughter coloring over the years and getting it on the doll so she knows this isn't somebody just playing a prank on them and putting a different doll there. It is definitely the same doll. So bringing us to this year, Emily then sent the doll to her friend who lives 2.4 kilometers away, trying to put some distance between her and the doll. However, she did say the last thing that Elsa did when putting her in the box was laugh for 30 minutes straight when she's never done that before. <sighs> that is so creepy. That is honestly just so weird and creepy for me, you guys. I don't, I don't know what to say about it, but that is the story of the Haunted Elsa doll. As I said, I don't know what to think about it. I'm on the fence with this one because on the one side of me saying, why would they make up the story? Why would they just lie for no reason? But then the other side of me is thinking, why is this doll possessed? Like, how did this happen? Usually when dolls are possessed, it's because either they are cursed, like this doll is so old and somebody put a curse on it, or somebody invited the entity into this doll and that is why it is possessed or cursed. So it just, it's a weird one for me but I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this story, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me and then I'll see you in my next one.